Um, you don't get to this position of uh, being the governor and the lieutenant's governor's nominee for the Supreme Judicial Court by yourself. There are far too many people for me to name um, that helped to get me to this position. But I don't mean to be self-deprecating when I say I couldn't be here without them. And in broad categories, the attorneys and friends that I made in my professional career at Rackham and Sawyer and Brewster and Todd and Weld and Barron and Stadfeld, the staff and the colleagues at Suffolk University Law School and UMass Dartmouth Law School, and certainly some of the best people and judges in the world in the Boston Municipal Court Department. Uh, and that also includes the staff of the Boston Municipal Court as well as the staff of the Dorchester Division. There are two people that are not here physically with me, but they're with me at all times, that I know would be taking incredible pride to today. Uh, and that is Judge Paul McManus and uh, the Dorchester Division Administrative Assistant Susan McTighe. Both of them were taken from us far too early. Uh, but had an incredible impact on me, and I hope that I'm making them proud. Uh, I could not and would not be here without the support of my family, uh, my mother and my father, my two sisters, Marie and Nadia, uh, and all of the friends that I have that have seen me to this point. And none other is more important and more integral than my wife, Michelle, and my two daughters, Olivia and Samantha. I'm really honored, Governor and Lieutenant Governor, for this opportunity. Um, it's something that I can't really adequately express. I just don't have the words. Uh, but I tell you what I've told you throughout this process. I'm honored by it, and I will show my honor and my respect for this position by working as hard as I can to do the best that I can by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts.